EdTech's own Marketing and Entrepreneurship and Digital Media Arts class took donations for the victims of Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and the Mealfoot Restaurant moves into downtown Inlay City with a brand new building. Hear more about these stories coming up on The Edge. Hello, I'm Shelby Honeycutt. And I'm Andy Pavelic. Welcome to The Edge. Tragedy struck Tennessee as fires spread across the state, turning everything in its wake to ash. Many firefighters from around the country are rushing to Gatlinburg to assist in putting out the fires. But how can we help from here? We turn to Cole Leitz to tell you more. On November 29th, deadly wildfires roared through the Great Smoky Mountains of Gatlinburg, Tennessee leading to 14 deaths, 143 injured, and thousands of people having to evacuate their homes. Many people lost everything in the record-breaking wildfires in Tennessee, and the students from Lapeer County Ed Tech heard the cries for help. Students from Digital Media Arts and Marketing and Entrepreneurship held a Blitz Break. Uh, Blitz Break is a fundraiser to help the victims in the wildfires in Tennessee right now. At Blitz Break, I was sitting at the stand. We were taking donations for people who support the Tennessee wildfire and I think we got about $112 worth of donations. Many of the students donated, and they all had the same idea when they put their money in the bucket. I decided to donate it, to donate because I wanted to help out the families that lost everything in the fire. I'm donating money today to help, to help put out the fires in Tennessee and to help build homes for the people that lost theirs. A couple weeks ago, the students from Sales and Marketing went down to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee to go to the Virtual Enterprise International Trade Show. Uh, I think it's, I think it's kind of crazy. I don't even know how to explain it. I saw some of the videos on uh, Twitter and stuff of, or like the side-by-side -side pictures, and it's just pretty crazy how much damage was done so quickly. I'm Cole Leitz, reporting for The Edge. If you missed out on the Blitz break and still want to donate, you can make a $10 donation by texting Red Cross to 90999. Quoted by the Tri-City Times to be stubborn as a mule, Micromine, a two-time competitor on Food Network's television series Chopped, is shaking up downtown Emily City with his appetite for hometown success. Doug Whedon has a story. Meet Mike Bromine, owner and head chef of the award-winning Mulefoot Gastro Pub in Emily City. The mule foot has been open for about three years now, and according to Chef Mike, doesn't appear to be closing anytime soon. We're, uh, we're actually in the process of expanding in a lot of different ways right now. We're moving the restaurant to a new building. We're moving into the traditional downtown uh, of Emily City. Uh, part of our business plan has always been to try to help the community as much as possible by using local ingredients, supporting local farms, but also to uh, the best way that we can support our downtown is just to move our business there. Along with bringing healthy, delicious food to the residents of Emily City, Chef Mike is cooking up some good ideas of local government. I'm very involved with the community in a lot of ways. Actually, I'm a city commissioner here, and I also sit on the planning board. Um, so I'm, I'm very involved with the local government. And a lot of people uh, like to sit back and complain about what's going on. But if, you, if you're actually involved and you do something about it, then um, you can actually make a difference. As a student, Chef Mike attended the Lapeer County EdTech's Culinary Arts Program. As a teacher, I feel when a student has as much success as someone as uh, MicroMind, it's very satisfying. We're, we are also mentors and friends, and we train them and prepare them for real life experiences. So, so to see someone that successful, it really, really makes you feel good. Reporting for The Edge, I'm Doug Wheaton. If you would like to dine at an award-winning gourmet restaurant, the Mulefoot Gastro Pub's new building will be opening on 3rd Street in downtown Emily City this December. That's all for today's edition of The Edge. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in to the next edition. Until then, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at The Edge LC.